welcome you to Portrait. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Friends all over the world, I want to share with you hope. Because there is hope. There's need to keep hope alive. Today is second Sunday in the month of September, September 11, 2022. But before we do justice to hope, let's take our confession together. Today I am lifted. I will not fail. Jesus never fails. My eyes are on him from whom all blessings flow. I conquer fears in him and bless beyond man's destruction. I move it with the power of an ego. I will not stumble. My goals are assured in him. But to his praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Hope. According to Ezekiel 37 verse 10, Ezekiel 37 verse 10, so I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came with them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. What is hope? A desire for something good in the future. The thing in the future that we desire is basis reason for thinking that our desire may indeed be fulfilled. It's a confident belief based not on things experienced but on the word of God that the future he says will happen. Hope is a future certainty that gives you joy, peace, and patience in the present. My friends, keep hope alive no matter the situation. In our climb today in, in, in Nigeria, there are a lot of migration. A lot of migration. This past week alone, I know of three persons that have migrated. One to UK and two to Canada. All in the search of greener pasture. The Bible says, hope the fat, make the heart sick. But when that hope comes, it's like a tree of life. My friend, no matter the gloomy situation you see today, in certainty, the promises of God are yea and amen. They will come to pass, especially in Nigeria. If the current migration persists in the next five years, in Nigeria specifically, you will see that works that professionals need to do that is being done by quacks because at the end of the day, there will be no professionals who will stay and do the job. But I have a higher hope that the bones that dried up we rise again. Very in, in, in short time, people will be fighting trying to get the Nigeria passport. Write it down. What I'm saying is that foreigners Foreigners will be struggling. How am I going to get Nigerian passport? Because there is going to be a turn around in Nigeria that you will enjoy. But I'm not against migration. I'm not against it. If you want to migrate, that is what God wants you to do. Please do. But what I'm telling you is that there is hope in this country. It's not about prayer point. It's what is going to happen. That in the nearest future, that Nigeria is going to turn around a radical change. 
positive change from where we are today to where God wants us to be. The tide also turned. Don't think that it's going to be darkness all through. Light will come back to Nigeria. Light will come back to Nigeria. And you, your eye will see it. Ears will hear it. And the mouth will begin to say it. That is my promise for you. That there is hope in Nigeria. That you need to keep hope alive. Don't think that you are going to die. Don't think that you are going to die. No, 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 no. That is not the promises of God for you. The dry bone of your life, the dry bone of your destiny, the dry bone of Nigeria will definitely rise again. Keep the hope alive. I pray that your eye will see it. You will not die before the time. The time came, Elijah said, there is going to be abundance of rain. But there is a certain man in the palace said, for where? Where will it happen? It's not going to happen. Then the prophet decreed, in your very eye it will happen, but you are not going to participate. Then we, the people will stampede you to death. And that is exactly what happened. You don't need to doubt your doubting will not change any situation. Nigeria is going to turn around. You will see it. My prayer for you is that you will not die. That you will keep hope alive. By the breath of the Spirit of God, there will be a change. There will be a turnaround for our good. What the enemy meant for evil, God will turn them around. He will turn them around. Watch. I pray for you. Today, begin to vision, vision it. A new Nigeria of our bed. Take it now in Jesus' name. Take!